Hello folks and welcome to Tech Motorsports. I'm Eb and uh, welcome to my first video on YouTube. Uh, this is just an introduction video. It's a more kind of a journey of me working on some cars, uh, some other projects, which we'll touch base here soon. I did finish two projects for with an with a S62 E39 M5 motor. Um, full drivetrain, um, so keep an eye out for that one. I will be posting it up down the road as well. And so 2003 uh, E46 M3. Um, it's an SMG, unfortunately, but that's another project for down the so, road. So yeah, stay tuned for those. So here is the current project, 95 E36. Uh, it's a race car that is in the Champ Car Endurance Race Series. Um, here is uh, the little problem that I have. Uh, this is the S52 motor. Uh, I'm in EC class, so that is acceptable. Um, so yes, S62, been having some overheating issues, gone on the regular route of head gasket, so forth and so forth. Head, and it was actually uh, the block itself that was giving me the issue. And uh, there you could see in cylinder number three, that little section, it is with, it's out of spec and I uh, was getting uh, combustion into the cooling jacks, uh, raising the uh, temperatures up. So this one's gonna get a full rebuilt um, to get that thing back up and running. Uh, the next race is in April uh, at Daytona International Raceway. So one of the things that I do with this car is uh, do seat rentals. Um, seat rental is usually what, uh, what I classify a fuel stint. Um, Normal, a normal fuel stint will range between an hour and 35 minutes to an hour and 50, maybe 55 minutes. It, uh, it all depends on the track and depends on the driver. Um, if it's something that uh, somebody out there is interested, I do a lot of the Florida tracks here. I do go to Road Atlanta. Um, I have gone all the way to Virginia International Raceway, just haven't done that recently. Uh, but uh, if somebody's interested, uh, hit me up in the comments and uh, hopefully we can work something out. So here's the next project. Uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a journey. Uh, this is my enclosed trailer and um, it has, over the years, I guess sprung leaks. Uh, which I didn't, I didn't notice until you see wood swell, I and mean, then you start seeing a little bit of uh, mold on there, um, on the wood stuff. But uh, this whole, this whole trailer was covered in wood. It actually was a pretty nice trailer when I bought it in '14. Um, so uh, it's done me justice. I've gone it, taken this thing all the way to Austin, Texas, and it's been great. Um, the reason for it, um, the leaks caused all the damage, rotted wood. Um, as you can see right here on this one, you can see daylight and that's the roof and this is where pretty much most of my problem came from. Um, as you can see, the, the metal is, has just a ton of surface rust. All that can be cleaned up and you have to treat it so it doesn't come back, um, which I'm going to end up doing. And I have a, a lot to do. Uh, another part of the roof is that was giving me issues, um, which are are these right here these nice little lovely hose in the roof um, when this thing and sorry about the wind and the roof that's just uh, it's been it's a windy day today hopefully uh, the video comes out okay but uh, back to it um, they put wood between the actual rafter and the skin itself of the roof and those screw or those pieces of uh, very thin wood are held on by a screw. Well, nothing covers the screw, so after time, though, the screw rubs through. And I have now 14 holes in my roof um, out of the 26 screws that are in there. Um, so, not fun, but uh, I'm gonna patch them. There's no way I am going to buy a whole new roof um, for it. it. It'll just get to the point to where it's just, if I start spending all that money, uh, I might as well just buy a brand new one. And unfortunately, this is a budget build. So I have to do a lot of stuff myself and I have to do a lot of research and look to make sure it's done 
um, right? And at least, hopefully, this thing can last another 20-something years, even longer, to be honest with you. At least the rust and all that stuff will be taken care of, and it should uh, take a long, 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 long time for it to come back. Uh, but this one, it's going to, um, what I'm going to do, this is just a regular trailer, um, just an enclosed trailer, 26 feet long, eight and a half feet wide, and it's going to be a, well, what they call now a toy hauler. Um, I will have the living quarters. Oh, I won't say a, 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 not a true living quarters, but it will. It will have, uh, just to give you a little quick little overview, um, it will have back here in the tailgate, and it's going to have what we call a happy jack, I think it's what it's that's, called. That's the plan, but again, I could always uh, go back and instead of being two queens, it could be one queen. And then right here on this side, um, I plan on putting a, uh, um, a sofa slash bunk. So what it's going to end up being is it's going to fold down into a sofa for here. Um, that way you can sit down and then it will also come up and it'll be two bunk beds uh, for single twin bunk beds. And then the same thing I'm thinking about doing here with the access door, driver's access door. I will be making the frames and the mechanisms myself. Um, I've already kind of sketched it out and kind of got ideas of how to make it work to where I can turn uh, dual bunk, uh, bunk beds into a couch. Um, so I'll have, you know, places to, to, to sit. Um, cause this is what it got planned. Front is going to be my toolbox, my cabinet, a uh, little mini fridge and uh, cabinets up top for like just uh, miscellaneous stuff. Hopefully some places for some, uh, car parts. I'm going to need those. And, um, and hopefully depending on how high in the toolbox, my TV will be right here right here so that way we have some entertainment while we're at the race. we'll have ac it will be insulated um all the way around from ceiling sides and floor will be insulated um here's the other thing that's going to be a little bit tight to the ceiling is fixing that whole rotted area right there um, sorry about the wind again but uh it's uh it's a project as i said it's a journey I was actually hoping that I would get this done for the 12 hours of Sebring here on, in March for 2021. But um, as I went into it and started uh, opening and removing some stuff, as the famous, say, as the famous saying, you know, I, I opened up a huge can of worms. Um, there was a lot of rot, a lot of areas that I didn't see originally when I first planned this, um, which, has made me go back and rethink things, kind of look at how much money it's gonna cost. Uh, because this build is on the budget. Uh, because if it was no budget, I would just go out and buy a new one. Um, unfortunately, it's a budget, which is good, because now I'm doing the work. But it's great, and it's an opportunity for me to be creative and uh, take it to some races. So here is my 2003 E46 M3 that has been completed. It was a... Uh, I uh, guess what you can say a full restoration. I bought the car um, with uh, damage in the rear, uh, a nice lovely hole on the side of the block on cylinder number six, which at that point I didn't know that was an issue with the car. Flipped the coin in the air and uh, picked heads and it came out with heads so I pulled the trigger and bought it. Um, thinking uh, either I can win on this deal or I could lose. Um, I've had this car probably sitting for four years and I don't know how long it was sitting before I purchased it, but um, it's uh, uh, now that I look at the final product, it was definitely a win. Unfortunately, the receipts say otherwise, uh, but then again, it is what it is. Um, it's, a, it's a great car. Uh, just to give you a little bit more information on this one, um, it was, as I stated earlier, is almost a full restoration. Um, I guess you could call it that. Um, the hole underneath the chassis has been repainted. Uh, the reinforcement in the rear has been done. Everything underneath from the diff, the cross members have been redone. All poly polyurethane bushings have been installed. Same thing with the front. The engine itself, um, since it had a hole in the block, I had to go researching for a, for a motor and I did find one. Um, found the motor, bad crank. So then I had to search for a crank. Thanks to uh, COVID um, gave me a little bit more opportunity to finish it much more quicker. Uh, but this motor technically um, started from scratch. It's a full rebuild. Um, everything has been replaced. Uh, the only item that I can think of that I reused is the oil pump. Everything else is uh, brand new. Um, it's a great color, Nardo gray. Uh, the interior is uh, cinnamon. And uh, if you can see, I do have my, my driver's 
my race seat from my race car. Um, the reason is, um, in Florida, who says you do not need heated seats? I'm one that says that it's good to have. And uh, so I went the extra mile. Um, the seat cover that I had to replace was dyed. I didn't have heated seats in it and uh, I wanted it uh, because I love it. And uh, so I sent this, uh, the seat out to have the heating element uh, installed. Um, hopefully I should get it back next week and the normal interior will be in. And then my um, race seat can go back into my uh, other, other race car. So, um, so there we go. This one, um, I will do an overview a little bit later down the road as well. I still have a few items I need to do to it. This is uh, my 04 E46 M3. And uh, this was a salvage title. Uh, so it made it a little bit more easier for me to gut it and make it into a designated track car. Um, it's, it's such a great car that uh, I think that would, that would have been the only way I would have been able to do it just because this chassis to me is my, at this point, my favorite uh, M3 chassis um, that uh, is out there. It just really, it's got some great lines, great curvatures, and it's definitely, uh, definitely something to, uh, to desire, or it is for me. But, uh, so just to give you a, a little breakdown on this one, um, uh, yeah, I mean, gutted everything. I uh, installed everything myself, uh, including the full roll cage uh, that's in there. Uh, it also has a um, carbon fiber roof uh, that I installed. Um, plexiglass on the side, on the back window. Um, the rear subframe has been uh, corrected as well. Um, it did have some cracks. Uh, I think every E46 that I've done has had some cracks uh, one way or another. Um, the same thing with the front. Um, I did end up uh, reinforcing that one because it is the track car. Um, all poly polyurethane bushings throughout the whole entire car. Uh, the engine itself, uh, nothing really done to the engine. Uh, the only thing it's uh, got is a drop-in K9 filter, uh, active, uh, active auto headers, and um, some aftermarket exhaust that uh, came with one of my other uh, M3s that I took off and decided to put on here this M3. So I have been, uh, I've gutted pretty much as much of the materials inside uh, to make the car light. Um, so hence the carbon fiber roof. Also have the carbon fiber front fenders that uh, I painted over. Um, I bought them used and uh, they needed some repair work. And so because they needed repair work, I was like, well, I'll paint them. Um, didn't really want to leave the carbon fiber. I figured I'd just kind of throw it off a tad bit, but she uh, definitely uh, came out pretty good. Like I said, fun car. Um, just an awesome car to have on track. So to wrap, uh, wrap this video up, um, as you can see, there's a handful of projects that I've got going on. Hope you guys uh, stay tuned for more uh, content and uh, um, hope you follow along. Hopefully you guys will uh, well, watch my journey through, um, through all these little things that I do. Um, I enjoy doing them and uh, it's always a nice, satisfying um, feeling when uh, you look at something and it just doesn't look great, but you can see the image of what it could look like at the end. Um, and then finally, finally, when you get to that end and uh, you're done and your image is there in front of you. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, in all honesty, it's a great feeling. Uh, but yes, uh, again, follow, uh, like, and subscribe. And uh, again, I'm Eb uh, with Tech Motorsports and uh, hope to see you.